So my mentor, Mike Austin, as you probably have heard, uh, he believed that golf is a game of mental imagery. I believe that those mental images can be transferred into feels. So when you have the right images and the right feels, I believe that anybody can develop a really outstanding golf swing in a small period of time. You can literally jump light years forward with your progression if you can just have the feel of what a good golf swing feels like. So coming up right after this, we're gonna talk about specifically the release of the club. And I'm out here in the park, so I can give you a good demonstration about what a good release might feel like to you. So if you're looking for some extra distance and extra control, then you don't wanna miss this, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. As you know, I'm on a journey to hit it longer and straighter, not only off the tee, but all the way through to the green. And that means leaving no stone unturned and helping you get the feel and learn how to hit it longer and straighter as well. Hey, if you enjoy that extra distance and accuracy, you want to hit a couple extra fairways and greens in the coming season, then by all means, join us, hit the subscribe button, like this video at the end. If you got some benefit out of it, leave a comment down below if you've got any question. Oh, and one last thing, if you've been enjoying the channel, enjoying the videos and getting some benefit out of them, then I want you to know I can be your personal coach. I do this via video swing analysis through my website, hititlonger.com. Uh, you just go to the site off the home page, you just click on uh, the swing analysis tab and it will lead you through and how you can submit a video to me and I will take it through a special software treatment and I'll be able to give you a few good pointers for your swing to help you move forward with your game. So I hope you'll sign up for that and I hope to be helping you with your swing soon. All right, now on to the video. We're out here in the park instead of on the golf range because I think the park, if you can find a good open space, is a great place for you to feel what it feels like to make a good Austin release. So if you've been following the channel at all, you know that Mike Austin, he described his release as throwing the club. So I've talked about this in other videos, how the throw or the uncocking force that actually starts way back here at the top of the swing. And this is no longer an opinion. This is not my opinion. This has been analyzed by many of the top scientists, PhDs around the world who are really good at this kind of thing. And they have determined that Mike was right. The torque starts here. Now that doesn't mean that's where you're gonna feel uncocking of the wrist. Your mileage might vary. Again, golf can be a game of feels. And again, once you get the right feel and image, you can progress very quickly. Um, case in point, with the release, the throw release that we're talking about, I've got a couple of old clubs that I can part with and I've got my orange whip here and we're gonna learn how to throw the club. So this is just, you've, you've done this before, if you've ever gotten pissed off on the golf course after three putting and then shanking your next iron, something like that, you're just pretty upset. All I'm doing here is I'm going to step and I'm going to heave this thing down the fairway. So let me give it a first try here. Hopefully I don't hit anything bad. I've got the whole field to myself. I should be okay. So I'm just gonna step and I'm gonna throw. It covered about 40 yards and that was just a very soft toss but let's go from some different angles and I want to show you a couple of key points here on what's going to make the proper throw so you can really get a good accurate feel about what it feels like to make an Austin release so that you can really knock the crap out of your drives all right so a couple of key points when you're practicing this throwing motion are we're going to throw the club upwards and that's really going to help you set your body position. See, if I intend to throw upwards, it really allows me to drop into this Austin delivery position of what he called under, where we've got this side tilt 
dropping the right hip and shoulder well below the left. We've got this secondary tilt of the spine. It really enables us to feel like we're going to throw upwards. So again, I would drop this down because it would be my intent of throwing this thing kind of sky high up in the air at a good launch angle, maybe 30 or 40 degrees. The other main point, if you really want to get a sense of what it feels like to make this Austin release very free, super important that you make the club helicopter end over end with a very tight spin. So this would tend to show you how poor the other release styles are, relatively speaking, for power. And it, this kind of exposes them because if I was to do any kind of harpooning or holding through the impact, the throw would look something like this. And it wouldn't go anywhere. Not only would I get no distance out of the throw, but I won't get any revolutions or any spin out of it either. I'll throw it kind of like a knuckleball. We'll try it with the, the whip here. So again, I'm going to hold this. Like a lot of people believe that you're supposed to hold through the impact zone and not let it go. And again, if you were to actually let it go, it would be... So that thing didn't fly more than five yards and it only had about a quarter of a turn. Now conversely, if I throw this thing with a tight spin, upwards. Okay, so I threw that very soft blade. It went up, still went about 25 yards and it had two full revolutions at least before it hit the grass down here. What this is teaching me to do is not only apply this accelerating torque, but also to be free right at the point of releasing or letting it go that I have to kind of relax and let that club twirl. So you're looking for upwards flight, super tw tight twirl, and that's what's gonna help you get the feel for making an Austin release or a free release that's gonna help you really get a lot more distance on your drives. All right, so let me do some more throwing. We'll move the camera around to some different angles. Hopefully you can get an image that's gonna help trigger a feel that will help you move forward, release the club, more powerfully and free. So first, let's come right at you here. I'm gonna throw it upwards with a helicopter spin, just like this. All right, one last angle, a couple more throws. This should give you a good idea of the flight and the spin of the thrown club. Here we go. Again, we're looking for an upwards launch angle with the tightest spin I can possibly get. I am trying to helicopter this thing with the most revolutions per second I can possibly get. And that really helps you feel the freedom and the fullness of the release. Like this. All right, so I'd estimate those throws, and those were just kind of done and really at cruising speed just to kind of get the feel for it. We're about 50 yards. I, pretty sure I can go a lot longer than that if I really wanted to put the hammer down. It just shows you though the speed you can get with the hands if they are working in your favor. You're accelerating them and then free at the bottom of the swing 
to really squeeze out every last mile an hour out of the release of the club head. This is what Mike was doing when he was hitting the ball so long and straight, because you can control this when you're giving yourself the green light the whole way through, rather than trying to measure how much you're gonna hold it. It's an amazing feel to feel this for the first time. It's just like this ultimate freedom all of a sudden, no longer thinking about when and how you're gonna hold on to the club, but just right from the get-go, just flinging it out there. So hey, if you're gonna give this a try, by all means, um, have safety be your number one thing. I'm in a big open field all myself, all by myself. There's nobody around to hit because it could be bad. Take golf clubs that you can part with if the shafts break or if you accidentally throw it up into a tree or a bush. It can get away from you if you're not careful. So thanks again for watching and helping my channel grow. I'm Steve. Thanks to The Park for hosting us today. And as always, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.